Hi ladies, it's Mr. O'Sullivan. Today is lesson 7-2a, dilations in the coordinate plane, part two, not centered at the origin, day number one, the two techniques. So what we're doing today is we are actually going to be learning how to dilate points that are not centered at the origin. Today's learning target is I can dilate a point that is not centered at the origin. Today's Ed Puzzle is literally just exposing you to the two techniques where we work through the exact same example and get the exact same answer, but both two different processes. So do now complete the following question. Dilate the image to the right by a scale factor of k equals 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rewrite my point. So I have k, l, and j. So I have triangle k, l, j, or j, k, l. <laughs> j, k. So I have triangle j, k, l, and I want to dilate it by a scale factor of 2. So I know the coordinates of j are... One second, let me just write down these things. So J is one, two, one, two, three, four. So J is two, four. K is one, one. And L is four, zero. What I want to do is I want to do a dilation of two. So when you do a dilation, you're just going to be multiplying. So if I dilate the point j, I get j prime, and 2 times 2, 2 times 2 is 4. So I get 4, comma. Now I do 2 times 4, which is 8. So I'm going to plot the point 4, comma, 8. So I go out 4, up 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right up here. And that's j prime. Now I'm going to plot the point k prime after dilation of 2. So I have to ask myself what 2 times 1 is. It's 2. So I get 2, 2. So you go to the right, 2, up 2. And that's k prime. Now I'm going to do l prime. So I have to dilate the point 4, 0. When I dilate the point 4, 0, I get 8, 0. Because 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times 0 is 0. So now I go out to 8, and I plot L prime. Now I'm going to connect those with some straight lines. I'm going to connect them in black. And if you look, I start with a triangle, and I end with a triangle. So I know I did this correct. So the question I have for you is, what do you notice? Very good. I notice that my sides are still parallel. And I can also say triangle J prime K prime L prime is bigger than triangle J K L. And that's it. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be learning how to dilate when a point is not centered at the origin. So yesterday we went over how to perform dilations on basic points. So for instance, if we performed a dilation of 3 on the point 2, 4, what would we get? So if we wanted to, we would rewrite the point 2, 4. And let's do a dilation of 3. Well, when we do a dilation of 3... We multiply by 2 and multiply by 4. So 2 times 3 is 6. 4 times 3 is 12. So that would be our final answer. Here's the issue. Today we're going to examine how that answer is not always going to be correct. We are going to examine what it means to dilate a point that is no longer centered at the origin. <coughs> so the first way that we're going to look at is what I like to call the formula way. So here's how it works. You're given a point, h, a center, negative 3, 4, and a scale factor of 2. Remember, k is your scale factor. To find your new x-coordinate, you're going to follow this setup. Center x plus your scale factor times your point minus your center. So I'm going to say that you have to be like politically correct. 
and this has to do with your x values. To find your y coordinate, you're going to follow the exact same setup. Instead of looking at your x values, you're going to look at your y values. So I have center y plus my scale factor times my point minus my center. And this has to do with your y values. Then you put it all together and you box your final answer. So remember, this is your point, this is your center, and this is your scale factor. So to find the x coordinate, follow the setup center x plus your scale factor times your point minus your center. So what I like to do is I like to write down x to basically show that I'm going to be finding a x value. And I ask myself, what is the x coordinate at my center? So I go to my center, which is right here, and I ask myself, what's my x value? Is it negative 3 or 4? It's negative 3. So I have negative 3 plus, remember, it goes x comma y, so x comes first and y comes second. If we look at our formula, we now have the scale factor. My scale factor is 2, so I'm going to now do plus 2. Now we're going to do our point minus our center. So we go to our point and we ask ourselves, what's the x coordinate at our point? It's 2. What is the x value at our center? So I look at my point, one second. I now go to my center and I ask myself what the x value is. So I go to my center and it's a negative three. So I have two minus negative three. We then type this in our calculator. Negative three plus two times two minus a negative three. We could also do it in our head. 2 minus a negative 3 is 5. So I'm really doing negative 3 plus 2 times 5. <coughs> 2 times 5 is 10, plus a negative 3 is 7. So my new x value is 7. To find the y coordinate, we do the exact same setup. We ask ourselves what's the y value at our center. So I go to my center, and my y value is a not negative 3, it is a 4. I now ask myself what my scale factor is because it's k. So my scale factor is a 2 again. And now I do the exact same thing. I do my point minus my center. But I look at my y values this time. So my point y value is a 6. My center y value is a 4. So I do 6 minus 4. I now can type this all into my calculator. And when I type it in my calculator, I get 8. So this is my y coordinate. Now step 3 says put it together and box your final answer. So my final answer is going to be 7, 8. And this is the formula way. So giving you the heads up, the first year I taught this, we only did the formula way. Last year we did both ways, technique number one and technique number two, and a lot of students actually preferred technique number two because it wasn't as much memorization. So let's look at technique number two. It's the exact same problem. The point is two, six, the center is negative three, four, and our scale factor is two. Please follow these steps exactly as they're written. Step one, write the center of dilation first and the point you are dilating second. So if I look, I'm going to write this point first and this point second. So I'm gonna do negative three, four, and then I'm going to do my 2, 6. Step 2 says determine the translation from the center of dilation to the point you are dilating. So that means is, what number am I adding by? So what we're going to do is, what do I have to add to negative 3 to get to 2? Well, if you can't figure it out that way, you just do 2 minus negative 3. What's 2 minus negative 3? It's 5. So I'm adding 5. Now, how do I get from 4 to 6? Well, I'm adding 2. So now my translation rule is 5, 2. Because remember, x comes first, y comes next. Now, step 3 says multiply both numbers of the translation by the scale factor to obtain the new translation. 
So if I look, my scale factor is two. Scale factor is two. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to multiply my five by two and my two by two. So what's five times two? It's 10. And what's two times two? It's four. Now, step four says, add the new translation to the point you are dilating. This will be your answer. So if I look, I want to dilate that point of, one second, I think I made a mistake in my notes. Let me look one second, one second. Add the translation to the point. Oh, sorry, it's not the point, it's the center. My apologies, it's the center. So you're adding the translation to your center. So in this case, my center is negative three, four. And now what I'm gonna do is a translation of 10 comma four. So we ask ourselves, what's negative three plus 10? Seven. What's four plus four? Eight. And that's exactly what we got before. Seven comma eight. Okay, so now let's go into some dilation notation. If we look here, this number right here, occasionally you'll see this in problems. I won't give this to you often, but occasionally you'll see it. If this point comes first, this is your center of dilation. So the one, two is my center of dilation. So basically where I'm dilating my point from. The number hanging out by itself, my three, is my scale factor. Or K. And then last but not least, the five three would be the point you're dilating. And that's it. So ladies, that's it for today. Today is only an Ed Puzzle. If you have any questions, please email myself or Miss Calabrindo. Have a great day, ladies.